So there is this one, two stories that that lightens everything up. Mm, correct. That I enjoy looking at. Hello guys, welcome to another episode of E Junkies. This week, there's a lot for us to talk about, like Kabe and I, because there have been a lot of big entertainment news that have happened in the past. I think right now, um, the most important thing that we want to talk about is um, Kikosh, like the sexual allegations that have been leveled against him. I think the latest development that has happened um, as of this recording um, is that he has apologized for some of his actions. I think one of them was about like texting a 15-year-old boy or something along those lines. First, I would say that it's not that I'm jaded. I would look at this issue with more objectivity. There are some things that I don't agree with, but I think there's no need to slam him or to condemn him yet because there are definitely many sides to an issue. So we have heard one side, we have heard a little bit about what he wants to tell us. So we do not know the rest of the story. So I would rather wait and see what the investigation leads and then then after that to decide whether he should not be in the public eye anymore if that's serious. Both you and I right now, we are saying that we do not want to blame anyone yet. We are not blaming the victim. We are not blaming the so-called perpetrator. But it does not mean that the both of us, we don't feel strongly about this. I think yeah. for a fact that the two of us do feel very strongly about this. Mm. Because I'm a mother and my son is entering mm. teenage years and, and he's mm. into the internet. Correct. And I know you're a very sensitive person. So we do feel strongly about this. It's just that we have to hold back from making very strong judgments about anyone for now. We agree fundamentally that whatever goes on in somebody's private life, including their sexual affairs, should remain private. Whether it's a celebrity or online personality or somebody who's famous. There's a question in my mind, right? Sometimes I wonder, especially when it comes to maybe the local showbiz and local scene. Because it's so small and because any one scandal can basically end your career, is there a pressure on like personalities and celebrities to have a very pristine image? And by doing so, do they kind of then enable their fans and followers to consider them as saints. Is that this okay. mindset? I think within the Asian context, things like sex is still a very taboo thing. And I think the fact that, oh, you know, oh somebody is having sex, oh no. Like, or premarital like, sex. Yeah, or premarital sex, or casual sex even. You know, If that's also a root of your feelings towards this issue, then I think it's something that we should kind of be looking at lah, because I do feel fundamentally we are humans. Lah. Something that's on my mind as well is the age. A lot of times we cannot gauge how old a person is just by photos or just by looking at a video. There is something else that happened in the in the entertainment scene but overseas there's this very popular young handsome Japanese idol his actual full name is Tomohisa Yamashita recently he was photographed having drinks with a group of female models and turned out that at least one of them was underage and then later he was photographed entering this hotel soon after he entered this underage female model went to the hotel as well and they stayed there for a few hours and then they left within minutes of each other the media went big on it because he is really big in Japan so his management admitted to him drinking that part mm. but they didn't say anything about uh, the part about him spending the night in the hotel with other each girl mm. so the news came out his agency is punishing him mm-hmm. for that and then he's I think he's going to be taking a break lah, for a while no work for the time being so this thing about the age is that he says that oh I didn't know that the girl is underage mm. I think she's she, I think she's 17 that's the thing about the age someone tells you that I'm 17 and then you just believe it if you're going to be doing things that usually have an age limit then you mm. better protect yourself you're not just anyone on the street you're a public personality you're a celebrity if you get caught the consequences are going to be much worse for you than, uh, say, a normal person on the street. To be fair, responsibility has to be shared by both sides. One yes, on the person right. to say, I have to be honest in who I am, what I am, what I can do it, what I cannot do. And responsibility on the side of the famous person to be like, let's be above board on this one. Let's be legal. I think the most important thing that we've learned out of all of this is, one is that the truth will always come out. Like, I feel like we've seen so many of these whether or not it's sexual allegations or other things or like deep dark secrets it feels like a karmic cycle it's just a matter of when but it will come out second of all I think it's how do you deal with the aftermath because I think it's incredibly important to see um, whether there is still redemption. I was thinking that, you know, all, all these sexting things also tie in with another of one of our big entertainment news in the last one to two weeks which uh, Carrie Wong our uh, yeah. cop actress so there was sexting mm-hmm. there was inappropriate messages okay at the time it was like somebody leaked a video of like Carrie Wong's DMs with like Ian Fa and again there were very suggestive messages 
flavors. The most uh, explicit one that I can remember lah, it is the Chow Mei one, strawberry. So it's a Taiwanese slang, like he say uh, something like uh, plant, stra- plant strawberries, which is like a slang for like love bites or something like that lah. What was scandalous at the time was not that because A, you know, uh, two people are sexting, but rather Carrie was attached at that time and Ian was romantically linked to Rebecca. Recently, Carrie, she went on a talk show with Jennifer. So they talk about a lot of things and then this was one of them. The day that the news came out was her mother's birthday. Carrie knew that it was going to come out the, the next day. So the night <coughs> before, she messaged her mom and she said, you will see something about me in the news tomorrow. Just don't worry, I'll be fine. Uh, I'm sorry and happy birthday. The whole incident, obviously it had a big impact on her, but it also impacted her parents quite badly. She said that netizens scolded her parents. But the fact is that these are private messages between people and then someone got, a stranger got hold of this information and then right. they it out. I would always say we all make mistakes when we are young. And some people may think that, oh, you're 25, you should be old enough. But no, mm. actually, you can be in your 30s and you're still experiencing and learning things for the first time. Right. So on one hand, I totally do not agree with cheating on your partners. Mm. Okay, whether you are married or whether it's just a girlfriend, boyfriend, I do mm, not agree correct. with that. Mm. But on the other hand, I also think that who are you to out someone's private stuff to right, the right. media, to the right. public? This is doxing. You are ruining someone's lives just because you got hold of something private through illegal ways. Trying to accept justice and practice activism while the end goal is for the greater good, does the means justify the ends? But like I said again, I mean, the truth will come out, right? I think it's something that we all know. Like somehow the truth will come out just one way or the other. How it happens, it's a different story. And I feel very sorry for her. I really do. I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm glad that she's kind of like getting back on her feet. So I think it's great. So I think we just want to end this nicely and on a happy note. So there is this one, two stories that, that lightens everything up. Mm, correct. That I enjoy looking at. So this story is of Jerry Yen and Gong Yu who very nicely removed their shirt and let us have a look at their muscles. So for some, people, okay, like, some people might say that, yo, why you're like that? Are you all like body shaming people who don't have muscles? Well, are you objectifying like, you know, uh, yeah. male celebrities? There's a difference, you know. I don't, I'm yeah. not saying that everyone must have muscles. I'm not saying mm. everyone must be thin and pretty. I'm obviously not. Brian mm. is obviously not muscular and thin as well. Mm. So we accept you in whatever size you come in. But mm. there are certain things that we enjoy looking at more, which are muscles. I mean, I think what was newsy about this is also because of their age. Okay, I mean, Goyu, we know that he's always been very fit. Like, even in his 20s, right, he does all the editorial shoots. We know he has a great board. Great to know that at 41, he's still keeping in shape. I think Jerry Yen was the one that, even on the Meteor Garden, he wasn't really muscular. Like, he was a bit more like, just yeah. look like in shape a bit. And then, like, for his role here at 40-something, he really went to get ripped. He didn't just take off his shirt for the sake of taking it off. Like, I, mean, I mean, we have to be clear on this. It was a scene in his new show where he was brooding in the bathtub. It was about, they say it was like a 30 second scene or something, right? And then like, apparently like some fans were so embarrassed for him. They experienced secondhand embarrassment somehow. <laughs> that they went to like Photoshop and then like coming up in the bathroom. I would say that that scene uh, is a bit not necessary. I, la. He can be sitting in a chair fully clothed and thinking about things as well. La. I mean, I didn't watch the drama. So I don't know why that scene has to be him in the bathtub. La, okay? I mean, I think at this stage, getting male celebrities to take off their shirts for a topless scene it's not uncommon lah I mean especially if you have a body like that yeah so I mean there is no right or wrong about this lah I think fundamentally it's just do you enjoy it? sure if you just enjoy it then just take it as enjoyment this is just a fun article when I wrote it I had fun with it right I mean it was it was meant to just be a very simple straightforward joyous piece of content so I feel like just enjoy it at face value and then just run with it okay so thank you for joining us on this maybe lengthier episode of E Junkies. Uh, I know we, we talked about a lot of things. Um, Some of them really very heavy, some of them a bit controversial. So we would definitely love to hear your thoughts about the entertainment news that have transpired. As always, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to us if you enjoy such content. And don't forget that this video will be out on our social media platforms. It's kind of like a condensed version. And if you want to hear the full one, please go to Spotify and listen to the fuller podcast. And I guess that's it for today's episode of E Junkies then. See you guys. Bye. Bye-bye.